These bits of lunar material delivered to China, the result of China's successful landing near the moon's south pole. The unmanned spacecraft even sending back stunning video of the touchdown. The U.S. has yet to accomplish a soft landing on this side of the moon. I think, in effect, we are in a race. China is really throwing a lot of money at it. NASA Director Bill Nelson telling Congress in April why this region of the lunar surface is critical. We think that there is water there. We know there is ice. And if there's ice, water, there's hydrogen and oxygen. And we got a gas station. We spoke with Peter Gerritsen at the American Foreign Policy Council. It's really a scramble for resources. The broader problem, in my mind, is is not so much that we don't have the, the technical prowess to catch up. In a sense, I don't even think we're playing the same game for the same stakes. The United States, according to Gerritsen, is aiming to advance scientific understanding as a whole and lay groundwork for a human mission to Mars, while China is zeroed in on how they can turn space into a profitable frontier. This is a game for securing access to the resources and developing the technologies of what will be, what, what will decide who is the economic power uh, in the century to come. China understands this game and is laying those tracks, is investing in those fundamentals. And I think by and large, neither our policymakers nor our chief organizations charged with this, which is the NASA and the U.S. Space Force, have really understood this. NASA still plans to land the first humans at the moon's south pole in September of 2026. I'm Kayla Gaskins reporting.